Memorial Day weekend. This is that Memorial it stands as a monument to the great sacrifices made by the members of our armed forces who served during the Vietnam War. It serves not only to honor the sacrifices of those whose names are inscribed on it, uh, but also to help people the move that war and to allow people who might not have a chance to be able to travel to the Western D.C. and to come and honor their loved ones whose names are on that wall right here in their own community. As a veteran myself, and as a public official, uh, I offer my sincere thanks and appreciation to all those who worked so hard to bring this traveling memorial, this traveling Vietnam Wall, here in Antigua and the San Joaquin County. Thank you also to everyone who worked so hard to coordinate all the wonderful Memorial Day weekend events that we are in the next few days. The traveling memorial adds a special dimension to our Memorial Day ceremonies this year, and as we view it, Let's remember all those whose names are inscribed on it. Let us remember the service and sacrifices that they made. But let us also remember those others who gave their lives to protect our nation, our way of life throughout our nation's history. So thank you to all of our veterans who are here today. Thank you to their families, especially to the Gold Star families who are here. Thank you all uh, for the, your service and sacrifice. To our great country. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our veterans and God bless the United States of America. today. Remember how my hand looked when it got infected? Well today we were on blocking force for this other company that was sweeping through a village. This little kid's foot, he asked me to help him so I just did the same thing to him as the doctor did to my hand. I squeezed as much stuff out of it as I could and then put some stuff on it and wrapped it up. The people of the village were watching me, and after I finished with him, the women started bringing their kids for me to doctor them. I had a hard time explaining that I wasn't really a doctor. This was about a week before Brock was killed. It'll be 48 years, uh, May 26th. This is May 17th. Hello there. I'm at the Chuai aid station with a sprained ankle. I came in off of Operation 2 two days ago. They put me in a cast, but I went down last night and had it taken off. Nick's okay. That's my husband. <clears throat> I was about 800 yards from him one time, but never did see him. It's a lot different from fighting regular Viet BC than the hardcore. The first platoon is all back here in the hospital. They really put the hurts on us. I'll be going back out in two days and we join the company. We're really going to have a big squad. 
me and the squad leader are the only ones left out of our squad that are still fit for combat. Pretty good, huh? They said at the wrong time. Well, Pop, I found something out. I don't mind being shot at, but when they start monitoring, they can have it. I went through three days, May 1st, 13th, and 14th, of more than an attack. The first time I was in a hospital, I was in a hospital, so put a border down in your office. I think the best sight I ever saw was when our jets dropped May Pong on Charlie. Our fly boys are really good. See us. Tell Charlie that Nick lost his helmet. Ha ha. And he's hardly strong. And in his last letter, just a paragraph, hello there, and now it's going up California. I bet it's not as hot as this farm place. For Operation Union, General West Wong congratulated the first of Marines on the job well done. The battalion was put up for a naval plantation. It's about 100 meters from Way Hall's home. Today I went on this water truck down to the river and took a little swim. I saw all kinds of fish, but couldn't tell what they were. So I collected the fish. I'm down to 173 pounds, but I feel better. Mean, ha ha. I have to be going. Be good. So good. And so goodbye for now. Love, Rock.